Hi, Ben Hunt. I've just got something I want to, uh, I feel it's important that I talk about it. And um, I've just got a couple of questions. Uh, what has being on the committee done for me? Well, what I think about it is, it's done an awful lot, of, it's done a great deal more good than I could have ever thought when I first joined. I mean, I joined last March, and uh, it's been a hell of a ride, but um, what has it done for me? Well, it's given me more confidence, more self-belief, and it's helped me connect with the people more than I was doing, and it's encouraged me to have purpose, you know, so I, every month I say I've got to go down to the club, I've got to sell meat draw tickets, I've got to call bingo. And it's, it's encouraged me to do all of that, you know, because you need purpose in life for anything. And um, you've got to have purpose in order to do things. And um, I could say, oh, well, I've got to go there, I've got to do this because I'm on board. I mean, if I didn't do my job on the committee, then um, it wouldn't be uh, very fair on the others, so I've got to do my fair share of work. And being on board has encouraged me to do more of that, more, because um, I did enjoy, I did, I have enjoyed it. It's been hard, but I've enjoyed what I have enjoyed. And, um, and that's what it's done for me. It's given me uh, more confidence to say, Charles, you can do it. And uh, what else has it done for me? It's also uh, it's given me uh, more self-esteem and motivation because in recent times I've been struggling a lot to motivate myself to say, look, you've got you've got to you've got to go and do this. And uh, the motivation's been a bit of a problem of late. I'll be honest. And. Uh, yeah, I've had to motivate myself to come to the club and do my duty on the Friday and the Sunday. And um, I had to overcome a big challenge recently because I'm not very keen on going to discos and things like that. But I had to go to help out on Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. And yet that's something I'd, I'd never personally done. So I thought, oh, it's a disco, it's not my thing. But this time round I, I turned up, I collected some glasses and I was there. And it, for me that's a bit of a step, because normally I wouldn't go to discos or anything. You know, I can, I can now handle things that I didn't think I could handle. I mean, on New Year's Eve there was a lot of people in the club, it was near capacity, but yet for a little while I felt comfortable to come up and do things. I mean, I was up here for longer on Christmas Eve, but that's beside the point. The point is that I got here, I did it, and that's a, and that for me is a personal step forward. What have I brought to the committee? Well, well, I, I, I try to bring new ideas, ideas that work, and also, um, I think I've brought a little bit of my autism into the committee because I do things in a particular I do things in a particular way and order and that's the way that I do things so when I come to bingo I always have to make sure that the things are always set up and things are working and then I check I do a systems check and I make sure that everything's lined up in a particular way so in that respect but that's bringing the autism side of me into the committee for duty. And, um, and that's really what I bring to the committee. I mean, I, I bring in, hopefully I bring in lots of fresh ideas, things that work. And then, I mean, um, I'll, I'll be honest and say, I don't always speak at meetings. I think, well, you know what, I say that and then I don't. And, um, I, and then, I kind of prefer to say it later when it's less important and then there's less pressure on me. Although that might have something to do with the fact that if I say 
if I have an idea and there's a room full of people, I might be a bit, you know, are they going to criticise me kind of thing for what I've said. And then, I, and then, it, make, and then it would have made me wonder was worth saying. So that's why a lot of the time, if I have got an idea to bring, I tend to do it later after the meeting. Otherwise, it's what I've said, you know, I was, oh, I got this idea, and then I'd be worried that people would criticise that idea. So, well, you know, the likes of, um, I won't name names, but, the, you know, you know what I mean. It's like, well, well, to do this, have you got to do this and this and this? And I'd be like, uh, uh, you know, it's my idea, don't criticise it. That's what I would say, but I never do. But if I've got anything at all to say, then that's how I go about it. And that's really what I bring to the committee, as I said. The, um, lots of different ideas, and um, coming from, uh, the young, coming from, you know, a younger perspective, as it were, because I'm probably um, the youngest, well, in fact, I am the youngest on the current committee, because a lot, most of the, uh, ones on the current uh, committee are considerably uh, older than me. So at least I can bring things from a younger point of view. I might not always say that, but that's, it doesn't mean I don't think it during the, the course of a meeting. I say the odd thing here and there, but it doesn't mean I, uh, I don't say anything at all, it's just that I choose my place carefully to say it. That's about it, really. I mean, I've, I've covered the uh, I've covered the uh, the first question and the second one. So uh, that's all from me, and I'll see you soon.